Okay, so today we're going to be taking and replacing the spindle on this side. Uh, it's making a little noise. I've been greasing it every time I get on it, but it's time to replace it, I think. Um, obviously, you got to pull your blade out off underneath. Um, you got bolts all the way around that need to be taken off. Uh, belt has to come off. Uh, you just take a wrench. All I did is take a wrench right here and pull it on it. It's just like a serpentine system on a vehicle. Uh, there's a spring. That's what keeps the tension on all these pulleys. You just pull this back. Uh, take your belt off. It's, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to get everything disassembled here. And we'll take a look at the new spindle. Okay, so here's the new spindle assembly. This is the NOS John Deere. Uh, you can see bolts all the way around as we'll hold it to the deck. Pulley here is splined on there and it comes off like that. Uh, the spin the pulley's from the old spindle. You got a big old nut here. It goes on here. I had to use a three-quarter impact to get the old one off. I mean, it was tight. So I got to tighten that up, and this one will be ready to install. So here's the old spindle that I just took off. Uh, like I said, this nut was very difficult <clears throat> to get off. And what I had to do is I put uh, this part in the vise and I, I hammered it down so it would uh, tighten up on it. Because this whole thing spins. This is connected to that. So uh, that's, that's how I got that off. Like I said, three quarter inch impact took a lot of force to break this. I don't know if they got thread locker from the factory on this or what, but it took a lot of force to get this off. And that's all there is to change in one of these spindles. Put the new one in there. Just uh, bolted all the way around. Got my blade back installed. Uh, put this on. Cranked it down with an impact. Like I said, the old one was super tight, but uh, I think the rotation it actually tightens it so I just hammered it on with the impact should be okay uh, greased it really good so she's full of grease now and uh, ready to go another repair done to the uh, 757 see you guys in the next one